Okay, I found this magazine. It's called Infinite Energy. Forgotten Inventions, Historical. It's a really cool book. It's just a little magazine, but I found it. And, uh, let's see. God. It's really weird. So, it says, where are we at? Telepathy threatens the usual notion that the mind or consciousness is located strictly within our brain and only complicated electrochemical phenomena take place there. There are annoyingly contradictory observations though, and I add one more to Brockus' list. There are some hundred odd documents, documented cases about people who live normal lives among us, just that they literally don't have a brain. CT scans have shown that they have only a thin layer of nerve tissue around their skull, two to three millimeters thick. The, the total amount of their cortex is less than that of a dog. But if we accept this fact, it automatically ruins the mainstream paradigm that consciousness depends on the number of complex internal connection of nerve axons. However, the observation of spina bifida strictly contradicts this belief. This simple fact is not to be discovered. It is to be accepted. Along with it, thousands of university departments ought to be closed that made their reputations along the conscious number equals number of axon connections. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Uh, there's fucking people with no brain. They're, they're probably the people running the show. It's these fucking dog brain fucking people. Good God. I don't know. There's other ones in LRE later, but that's crazy.